Hello, Ginge here. Uh, come back to my old stomping ground, Shadwell Heath, to catch up with my old teammate, Paul Koncheski, who is now, as you can see, the West Ham women's manager. So we'll be chatting all things West Ham and all things women's football. So, Conch, good to see you, mate. Been a long time. Lots changed since the last time I, I've seen you. Back at Chadwell, where we both signed, 2005, 2006. I know. Remember Lots. that training, yeah? I do, mate, yeah. Horrendous. It was all right for you, because like, you're bigger now. It was quite big. I, was, I remember, I I remember looking back at some of the pictures or looking at them now, and thinking, <laughs> what was, even the clothes back then. The I, don't think, I don't think I've been back since... Uh, <laughs> From the when, when we left to the, to go to, the gym. Yeah, I mean, don't. It's all... Uh, but there's corridors, new building. But good, though. Nice, nice environment it's good. to be in it's every good. day. Um, the kids these days and... Obviously, us now, the women here is it's fantastic. The facility is unbelievable. A new, new arena, obviously, yeah. Skipper's Arena's out there. So, um, probably nowhere better else to be right now, mate, no, if I'm honest. Yeah, yeah, it's perfect. And watching a bit of training, look sharp, girls, girls on it. Yeah, it's good after two days off as well. So, you, oh, you, yeah, really? Yeah, you've caught them on a good day because you know as well as I know. Off. Day, day training after a day off is normally yes, a shambles, yeah, but yeah, um, that they are to be fair, but that, that was good today. And, and, they just said out there, it, it felt good. And they've had three weeks off over Christmas, so yeah, yeah, of course. a bit refreshed and never been known, mate, three, three weeks no, over Christmas. Ever, but... ever had any time off over Christmas. <laughs> uh, yeah, so three weeks off. Last week was back in three or four days. And to be fair, that's probably the best I've looked in the last yeah, two nice. weeks, mate. So you've got uh, Jimmy Walker, one of our other teammates in with you. How's he, how's he been? It's been good. He's, he's been really good. To be fair, I had him in just to do the goalies at first. Yeah. Lost, lost my, my my assistant and Jimmy was already, obviously already here. So rather than have a big change, yeah. it was asking him if he would like to be number two. And I knew it's probably a lot different, mate, from when we obviously played. So now a connection piece and the women, uh, are, they not like to be connected and yeah, yeah. liked and wanted and they want to know everything. Um, Jimmy took to them and that he, they took to Jimmy straight away and you know uh, uh, the banter he's got yeah, and yeah. how funny he is. So it, it, probably a, it was a no-brainer for me just to, to bring him in alongside me. Yeah, he, he, I'm watching him myself out there training. He looks like he's he's right involved, take, taking, the, taking the session. <laughs> Obviously the women just took over in May. Um, was it a sort of put upon you or was it something you had your eyes on to, to go into the, the, the women's game? Or? Um, so last year I was uh, assistant, but the year before, for about three or four months, I helped the ex-manager. So Oli Ardo, he was here, came alone, come from New Zealand on his own. Mm -hmm. um, team was struggling, to be honest. Asked at the time Ricky Martin um, if I could help out defending, letting loads of goals in gin. So, um, so they got you in to help. Well, yeah, <laughs> trying to keep them out of the net, you know. But, um, so that's how that came about. That, that season finished, they, they stayed safe asked me to be like a, a number two, which at first I was thinking, I'm in an R in. But you know probably as well as I do, you still have that desire. Mm. And at the end of the week, you still want something to play for. Yeah. As much as I liked it with the boys, towards the end of the week, there was no, it didn't matter. So you do all, the, all your work all week. And I know at three points is at state, but it's more trying to get boys into the first team with, the, yeah. with that side. But with the women, it was first team, it was, three points at the end of it and, it, it's about, and, yeah. it, and it's your life depends on it you, you, you're earning a living or you're going to get the sack yeah, yeah. Um, so a little bit you, you thrive off that you know as well as either you, you thrive off winning games and bit of pressure and, yeah. you've got, you've got to so win games. number two I, I probably learnt, learnt my way within the women's game as being an assistant manager mm. which was probably quite good and, and lucky along, on, along the way as well so uh, that, that year was learning and the opportunity come up in the summer, like you say, in May, to, to take the head job. And um, it was something that I was keen to do as soon as I got asked. So have you seen, since you took over, uh, have you seen a, a, a progression in the girls? Have you seen a progression in women's football and certainly the West Ham women's? Have they, not from your coaching, I, I can imagine that <laughs> it's, it's very good. But um, just in general, the whole game, it's, it's certainly got bigger from, from an outside me looking at it. The women's game's got really big. Have you seen... You know, sort of the club supporting it a bit more, and, and 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 more girls wanting to play football. Yeah, and I think obviously the England Lionesses uh, yeah. in the Euros uh, helped massively mm. um, with them doing what they done. I thought it 
it's brought so many, so much more attention to to football and people that probably wouldn't even watch the women's game. Yeah. Um, but this football club, obviously, as well, we've got we've got a good women's team here, yeah. and uh, they've been going for five years now, and they've been in the WSL, which is the is the best league in the women's game. So um, they support it. Obviously, we always want to get better, mm. um, and 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 that's our aim. But I think to get to get better, you need a bit more support from people coming in to watch games and sponsorships, and and I think that's what's going to generate the money. Talk me through some of the players. Your captain, I know, is a, a big West Ham fan, which always similar, West Ham similar, similar to Nobs. You know what I mean? The, the men's she, team. It's always nice having. Yeah, a, she is um, having a West Ham fan. As your, um, as she started player. unbelievable this year. She's she scored five or six in the first f- first part of the season. She's she's a big influence in the team, you know. She's 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 tall as you, as you see, but she's good in both boxes. She she's a leader, and she and I, I don't mean a leader as a she's a screamer and shout, but yeah. she leads by example. On and, the pitch, yeah. and she probably, if you asked anyone what West Ham means to anybody, they'd, they'd say they work hard, they run mm-hmm. around, they tackle, they head it. That that's my captain. People say what's West Ham about, yeah. and I would say her, and and I think that's what she brings, and she's she's a good one as well as. She she loved uh, Bobby. Yeah, yeah. She used to look up to Bob. So Bob's done me a load of a load of videos for her just to keep her going as well. But, yeah, nice. Um, yeah, she's big. My, my centre forwards are a massive influence on us. We signed her in the summer from Bayern Munich. Okay. Um, my goalie, she's she's a big Aussie. She's she's just going from better to better. Yeah. She's uh, probably one of the top ones in the WSL. That's working with Jimmy Walker, is it? Yeah. <laughs> well, he'll take the credit, but now he ain't. Yeah. He's nothing to do with it. So That's why yeah. she's not bad. Jimmy's not involved. <laughs> but I've got a good team. I've got a good. Yeah. I've got young. I've got some experience. And I've got people that want to be at the football club, which I think that's that's the be all and end all. You yeah, have to want to play at this football club to, to get any success. Yeah, of course. Right, special men- mention for Kate Longhurst. I know she's a, a big West Ham fan, diehard West Ham <laughs> fan. So uh, has she helped you along the way, knowing you know the the, the women's game. Obviously, she's been here from p- since day one, so she knows it inside yeah. out. Yeah, she's been fantastic. To be fair, she's um, like you say, she's a mad West Ham, a proper fan, and, yeah. I'm, I'm, and I mean a proper fan, Jin. You know, tattoos in it. <laughs> <laughs> but you you go to the games and you see fans. She yeah. she takes her. Professional away, and she goes as a fan. Yeah. Season ticket holder. She goes with, her, her, I think, her dad and her friends, and hates missing a game. So our game sometimes. Now the boys are in Sunday summer. She yeah. hates it. But yeah, she's been she's been really good for me. Obviously, the transition for me from the men to the women was was always it, it was quite good. But it was nice to have a West Ham fan yeah. knowing she's been here. The transition for me to to speak to her to what it's really like in in mm. on that side of the game and. Uh, just like my captain as well, two mad West Ham fans in the team, and they are proper diehard, and yeah. they, they everything West Ham are. Like I said, mentioned him again. No, it was, it was the same with him. It was sort of because his family and and how big a West Ham fan he was. Certainly, in, 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 when we were playing, you sort of got that off him, so you yeah. knew what it was to the fans to play for West Ham. And I think looking back at it, me and you were similar players. We gave our all every game, and and, and that's what it is to be a West Ham player. And, and you've certainly got two there that. That know what it's about and, and done really well for you. Yeah, and it's mad. You, you, you know, West Ham Tottenham is not not the nicest, but that's with the women as well. Yeah, yeah. So but... she scored against Tottenham and was going mental at the crowd and the camera, and so it's, it's, it's everything you want from from a fan playing for your, for your team, really. So, Conch, looking looking forward to the weekend, Man City on Sunday. What are you uh, what are you expecting from them? Well, firstly, it's a, a big opportunity for us being at home on the telly. Um, playing another fantastic football club. Uh, like I said earlier, we're trying to take the points off the, the bigger teams and we class these as a, as a big team. We, we took points off them last year at, at their stadium, so hopefully after this Christmas break, we, we can hit the ground running and, and take all three points off these. Perfect. Conch, thanks for your time, mate. Always lovely to catch up. Always good to see you, good mate. Good to see you, you know enjoying that. it and uh, watching the girls. Looks like you've got a, a good group out there and, and, and hope it goes well and, and keep enjoying it. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much. Cheers, bro.